PhD students are expected to leave a mark with their research. I want to leave a mark when it comes to community, engagement, and on the lives of people. When I started getting involved at UBC campus, it was all about making a difference and leaving my own little legacy behind. It was important for me to introduce folks off campus to something that I was influenced by on campus. Graduate student life could be highly stressful and I was lucky that I was sensitized to this by being a residence advisor in UBC Res for three years, uh, recognizing how mental health and well-being are very important. So as my term as president of GrassPods, I ended up bringing art nights into the off-campus educational building, which is basically uh, an evening every month where we give you art supplies and canvases and all you need to do is come and de-stress with us. So I think it was through residence life where I was able to learn a lot about empathy and inclusion and understanding what people could be going through and then translating it into my um, other avenue of off-campus PhD life. So when I finished um, my last year in residence, I received this book. It's called Sweet Thoughts for the Sweetest Soul. And it basically has all the teams that I was ever a part of. So this book made me really emotional in the sense that um, I did not know that I was making a difference to other leaders. Like sometimes you think as a leader you can make a difference to people who you are leading but you are not sure that you could be making a difference to all your team members who are themselves leaders. My name is Sneha Balani. I'm a PhD candidate in the Faculty of Medicine. This is how I disrupt ordinary. How will you?